based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. give unto you the remainder of the commandments of God, for I perceive that they are not written in your hearts. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not cut it. Have you taught this people that they should observe to do all these things for to keep these commandments? Behold, I say unto you, Nay. For if ye had, the Lord would not have caused me to come forth and to prophesy evil concerning this people. You say that salvation cometh by the law of Moses. You should keep the law of Moses as yet. But the time shall come when it shall be no more expedient to keep the law of Moses. Salvation doth not come by the law alone. And were it not for the atonement which God himself shall make for the sins and iniquities of his people, they must unavoidably perish. And did not Moses prophesy unto them concerning the coming of the Messiah and that God himself should redeem his people. Yea, and even all the prophets who have prophesied since the world began, have they not spoken more or less concerning these things? Have they not said that God himself should come down among the children of men and take upon him the form of man and go forth in mighty power upon the face of the earth? I would that you should understand that God himself shall come down among the children of men and shall redeem his people. And because he dwelleth in flesh, he shall be called the Son of God. For were it not for the redemption which he hath made for his people, which was prepared from the foundation of the world, I say unto you, were it not for this, all mankind must have perished. The time shall come when all shall see the salvation of the Lord, when every nation, kindred, tongue, and people shall see eye to eye and shall confess before God that his judgments are just. And now if Christ had not come into the world, there could have been no redemption. And Christ had not risen from the dead, or had broken the bands of death, that the grave should have no victory, and that death should have no sting, there could have been no resurrection. But there is a resurrection. Therefore the grave hath no victory the sting of death is swallowed up in Christ. He is the light and the life of the world. Yea, a light that is endless, that can never be darkened. And also a life which is endless. That there can be no more death. Even this mortal shall put on immortality, and this corruption shall put on incorruption, and shall be brought to stand before the bar of God, to be judged of him according to their works. 
whether they be good or whether they be evil. And if they be good, to the resurrection of endless life and happiness. And if they be evil, to the resurrection of endless damnation. And now ought you not to tremble and to repent of your sins. And remember that only in and through Christ ye can be saved. Therefore, if you teach the law of Moses, also teach that it is a shadow of things which are to come, that redemption cometh through Christ the Lord, who is the very eternal Father. Amen. <laughs>